Glory to the Most High. Alright, Pressure Man here with a little update. I just want to encourage you all out there to uh, set aside a day for maintenance. So for me, today is maintenance day. Uh, this is what we're working with. We have uh, a dirty van. There's a lot of debris and sand and, you know, all sorts of uh, stuff going on in here that uh, needs to be cleaned so we've taken a lot of our stuff equipment guns hoses we're gonna charge up all of our batteries for our pressure washer and our soft wash and uh, we got some cones and stuff down here I also need to get inside of my water tank and vacuum some debris out of there Honda GX 630 and the 690s are the you know pretty much identical as far as uh, the maintenance and stuff goes so uh i got some key pointers from a few people on how to change them this is a new machine for me so i'm not gonna act like i know uh everything right off the rip i mean research 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 reach out to people that know uh what they're talking about and, and, and that way you don't have any hiccups or headaches out there in the field so yeah that's what we got going on today man today's maintenance day all right, pressure man back here again. So I got everything vacuumed out. I vacuumed out my uh, my water tank. Um, there was some sediments there at the bottom of the tank. So I just uh, wet back that stuff out because you don't want any of that getting in to your soft wash pump. But um, now we're gonna go ahead and, and do a little maintenance uh, oil change here. I'm coming up on the first 20 hours of my machine. Uh, we're at about 15.5 hours I'm changing it on a little bit on the early side but this is uh I mean it's just preventative maintenance which is a good thing uh, I've talked to a lot of people and um, you can't change the oil too much so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and start so I got my uh, stuff set up here uh, I got a 11 16 wrench which uh, I guess is the requirement once get this piece off and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with that. I went ahead and got uh, my oil here which is a full synthetic 5w30 uh, I did find an OE, OEM Honda filter they had it I was gonna get another one because I wasn't sh quite sure if uh, they had them but O'Reilly's has them so I'm gonna pour a little oil in here that's gonna I already put some, but that's gonna help with priming quicker and uh, get some fresh oil around the the cap. All right. Get a little bit of that out of there. Went overkill, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, we get our, our OEM part on there. Don't want to cross thread it, so. Make sure we're threading it on there pretty solid. So everything's looking good. And we'll just hand tighten it up. It's gonna create that seal by itself, so. I'm gonna give it one good turn here. You don't 
gonna have to get it crazy, crazy tight. That should do it. So that's our new filter on there. It's the old one. Look at our oil. It's really nasty. Dirty, dirty, dirty oil. So now we're gonna go ahead and fill up our clean oil. If you step around here a little. We have our, our little funnel. Brand new. Right in there, we got our oil in now we're going with the 5w30 full synthetic all right going with mobile one all right we'll check back with you all in a little bit all right we're pouring and we're filling now periodically it's a good thing that you check your dipstick because you don't want to overfill these machines with oil, you know, because you'll, you'll create all type of problems. Uh, this is your fill line here, the second, the second hole, okay, the first hole, the second hole is where you want it, you want it to be right there. So we're going to keep pouring and checking to see where we're at because we don't want to go up here in this area. You know, you want to keep it here and this area right here, okay? Because if you overfill it, there's going to be white smoke and all type of problems you're going to cause. All right, we're back. So we got everything all put back up and wiped down with our oil change. And we're going to go ahead and test shoot and see what we got. I got enough water in my 100-gallon tank. To test shoot this uh, real quick so here we go put our choke on Trigger that allows the water to keep circulating. 